What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Chicago White Sox versus Houston Astros Major League Baseball matchup going down Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the bettors that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season, but what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my Nerfies and Yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I release throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with call 775-636-7674 we will get you some more information but let's get to this one between the chicago white Sox and the houston astros the chicago white Sox sending out jonathan cannon for the start in this one well the houston astros will counter with framber valdez and uh for, for the White Sox, sending out Jonathan Cannon. Cannon had a great start last time out. Seven innings, a one-run ball, gave up four hits. It was um, a, ho- a solo home run that he gave out over the seven innings of work at T-Mobile Park in Seattle. So very hitter-friendly ballpark. It was a great rota- uh, return to the rotation for Cannon after struggling his way through three starts in the, uh, in the month of April. But uh, part of me just wonders if that was more about the Seattle Mariners, if that was the environment that uh, that was, was helping Cannon in that start, or if... Or if uh, or if he was actually having a really good outing. But the thing is, now you go up against the Houston Astros lineup at home. You know, a Houston Astros team that in their last 10 games is hitting 257 against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. You know, they're around le- just above league average in terms of team OPS, isolated power. You know, they're hitting 258 in their last two weeks. So around the same average. And uh, I still think they can have success against Cannon in this game uh, offensively. But on the other side, we've seen Framber Valdez get hit. And uh, you know, last time out, gave up five runs on eight hits over just four innings of work against the San Francisco Giants. He does have a 4.0 ERA in his last seven starts. And we've seen Valdez get hit unusually hard this season. This is normally a guy that pitches to a, a high two, low three ERA at year's end. Usually a, 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 a ace level numbers. But this year, you know, a five and four record, an ERA just under four. And he's going against a White Sox team that has been fairly competitive in the month of June. You know, they've been a great team to back in the first five. And the Chicago White Sox against uh, left-handed pitching in the last two weeks. You know, top 10 in isolated power, team OPS. They're just outside the top five in batting average against left-handed pitching. They're hitting 305 against lefties in the last two weeks. The problem for me with the White Sox, and I don't want to take a shot on the plus money, is because of that White Sox bullpen. It's still one of the worst in baseball. A 6.70 ERA out of the pen in the last two weeks. So I'm going to go with the over 8.5 here. I think the White Sox will keep up that success against lefties, be able to get to Valdez for a few runs. Certainly think the uh, the White Sox will be able to get to Cannon and this White Sox bullpen for a few as well. I think we're going to get over 8.5 here. So I'm going to go with the over 8.5 between the White Sox and the Astros, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.